Welcome to our mini supply channel. For us, it is very important to provide our customers with the proper information on how to keep their machines in good working condition. In this video, we will show you how to service your vacuum pump. These instructions apply to all molasses milking machines. The tools that you will need to service your pump are a rubber mallet, a set of Allen wrenches, a chisel, lubricant, clean rags, sandpaper, and for your safety, gloves. If you don't have handheld Allen wrenches, you can use an eight, seven, and 5.5 millimeter hex head Allen wrench with an impact driver. If you are going to use an impact driver, you will need a socket adapter. For this demonstration, we will be using an impact driver. You can work with the pump on your machine or you can take it off. First, using your set of Allen wrenches, remove the first three bolts attaching the plate to the pump. To keep your bolts together and organized, and to help you remember where they go, keep your bolts together as you detach them from the pump. Once you remove the bolts from the vacuum pump and notice that the plate doesn't remove easily, take the rubber mallet and chisel and begin to separate the plate from the pump. Now you're ready to remove the graphite pallets. Carefully remove the graphite pallets from the rotating cylinder. Rotate the cylinder as needed. Set the graphite pallets aside in a safe place. Next, with your Allen wrench set, remove the three bolts from the second plate. Next, carefully remove the plate and set it aside. With your Allen wrench, remove the center bolt from the rotating cylinder. To remove the cylinder, place your chisel behind the rotating cylinder. Give yourself leverage and push against the shelf to push the cylinder out. If it is difficult to remove the cylinder, use your lubricant and apply it to the shelf. With your clean rag, clean the inside and outside of your plate to remove any excess debris from the graphite pallets. Also, you could use your rag to clean the rotating cylinder. Clean around the cylinder to rid of any dust from the graphite pallets. Also, to clean the graphite pallet slot, you could use a Q-tip. Use a Q-tip and gently swab the inside of the graphite pallet slot. Notice your rotating cylinder has two bevel sides. One bevel side is deeper than the other. The shadow bevel side should be facing out from the pump. When inserting the cylinder, gently insert it onto the shaft with the shallow bevel side facing you. If you're having difficulty, you can also put more lubricant onto your shelf and place a rag on top of the cylinder and gently hammer it with a rubber mallet. Replace the center bolt to the rotating cylinder. Be careful not to over tighten them. It is important that the cylinder rotates freely. Now turn on your motor to make sure the cylinder rotates easily. To install your second plate, align your bolt holes to the base plate. Remember when installing your bolts, do not over tighten them. 
The rotating cylinder needs to rotate freely and easily. After installing the second plate, use your finger and manually rotate the cylinder. It should rotate easily and freely. You should not hear any scrubbing sounds onto the pump. Now it's time to install the graphite pallet. Carefully insert the graphite pallet into the graphite pallet slot. You will know it is correctly installed because it will complete a circle on the cylinder. If you notice a triangle on your graphite palette, it is incorrect. You must take it out and reinsert it correctly. After inserting the graphite palette, take your finger and rub it across the surface of the cylinder. It should be a smooth surface. If you notice the graphite palette is not even with the cylinder surface, take a piece of sandpaper and file down the graphite palette until it's even. Once it's even, you're ready to install the last plate. Make sure your holes are aligned with the holes on the second plate. As with the other bolts, remember not to over tighten them. Now it's time to test the pump. For your safety and to silence the noise, install the muffler. Turn on your motor and it should sound as follows. Thank you for watching.